do as long as we have our eyes on God. So just think about yourself right now for a minute, because I can tell you stories about me, but think about yourself for a minute. In what area of your life are you concerned and worry? What areas of your life do you have fear? Is it about the past? Is it about the future? Is it about your job, your housing, your retirement, your children? What is it? And you look at yourself and you think, I don't have what it takes. Well, now you're in good shape for a miracle. Now you're in good shape for a miracle. First, you know that you can't do it. Then you know that God can do it. And that's my point here today. Who is God? He is Jehovah Elion, the God Most High, the possessor of heaven and earth. Amen. El Shaddai, Almighty God. That's the next name they want to talk about. He has all might. He has all power. Nothing is impossible to God. You don't have a problem that's so small that God's not interested. And you don't have a problem that's so big that God can't fix it. Nothing's too big. And the good news is not only is God powerful, but his power is available to us. You see, I sat in church for years and I heard about that God was powerful. But nobody ever told me that he wanted to share that power with me. That he said in Luke 10, 19, behold, I give you power. I give you power to tread on serpents and scorpions, and I give you power over all the power the enemy possesses, and nothing shall by any means harm you. And you say, well, wait a minute, things have harmed me, but nothing can do you any permanent, eternal damage if you keep your eyes on God. Satan may come against us one way, but he will have to flee before us many ways. And I'm going to step out here and just take this to the extreme for just a minute. I was thinking over the weekend that I thought, not the weekend, but before I got here, and I thought, you know, one of the big things that's always out there for people is death. Well, what if I, what if I don't make it? What if I don't make it? And you know what I thought? We need to be a little more eternity focused. We don't talk about eternity like the, the saints did in the early days of the church. I mean, they went into lion's dens because they believed so strongly that when they passed out of this life, they were going to be in the presence of God. And so, death is not the worst thing that can happen to anybody. Yes, we all want to live as long as we can, but death is not the worst thing because the Bible says to live is Christ, to die is gain. And you know what I think? More than being afraid of death, what we need to be afraid of is not being steady and holding firm until our time here is up. We need to make sure that we die in Christ and then we have the victory. I don't care what else is going on. Because any one of us, even if we have a hundred years, it's nothing compared to eternity. And we are going to live a long, long time. Jesus said, I go to prepare a place for you. He's building your house right now. Amen. So I feel some teaching coming up here in the future about eternity. I think we need to talk a little bit more. I mean, we don't want to be so heavenly minded we're no earthly good, but we also don't want to get stuck here thinking this is all there is and we got to be petrified to leave. What do you think? Do the Canadians not wake up till noon or what? Come on. <laughs> don't you agree sometimes we get too entrenched in what we've got here right now and oh god you got to fix this and i got to have this and i can't take it god if you don't do this and i don't know what's going to happen if if i don't get this and oh and i don't have the victory you know you didn't give me what i wanted and so but the truth is is when he says no permanent harm can come to you i'm going to tell you what we have got the victory we are more than conquerors because when we pass out of here and go into the next realm, we've got it nailed down for eternity. 